an interesting question. How are roofs installed and what makes them waterproof? We take to the skies to deconstruct step-by-step -step this two-story roofing installation in a high wind area of South Florida from our Build a House series on engineeringplans.com. Let's rewind. Roofing on residential houses like this one is typically fabricated using plywood sheathing nailed to roof trusses. The type of sheathing may vary, but this structural layer, installed in the strong direction and always ending on a truss, provides strength for gravity and uplift, plus the sheathing locks the roof trusses and building frame in place, keeping everything square and plumb. This roof sheathing is 5 8 inch CD grade, strong enough to resist 170 mile per hour hurricane design loads. The trusses below support the roofing and transfer loads to the bearing walls. After the plywood comes a 30 pound felt paper base sheet. The base sheet comes in three foot wide strips, each sheet overlapping the other and are nailed per the engineer's requirements, which originates from the Florida and International Building Codes and the felt base sheet's Florida product approval. Florida requires that products that comprise the building envelope be tested and approved for use at each project. This Florida product approval is FL12328 and can be viewed right on engineeringplans.com. Florida product approvals contain performance and installation information for over 30,000 building products which are relied upon for construction across the U.S. This information is added to the permit drawings for building department approval and for easy access to the approved information during inspection. Next comes the asphalt and hop mop layer. This layer consists of a 90 pound rubber and asphalt mat and is applied by melting bitumen between overlapping layers. This bitumen is manufactured by a company called Bitumar and is an asphalt material similar to that used for roads that becomes liquid when superheated. The bitumen is pumped to the roof where buckets are filled and spread across the felt paper layer. This asphalt layer also has a Florida product approval, FL10450, and is applied per the product approval's installation instructions. The roofing tiles are delivered by conveyor to the roof where they are evenly spread out for installation. The roof is cleaned and prepared for a two-part adhesive to be spray applied which bonds the roof tile to the asphalt. Again, these products are Florida product approved. The adhesive is FL6332 and the roof tile is FL7849. These products were matched together and selected to achieve a wind rating that matches the installation requirements of this project. Each layer is installed to protect the layer below and provide drainage and minimize water accumulation. Those diagonal pieces form the ridges and hips of a roof, the areas that form the roof peaks. These areas have a special capping tile that's adhered with an approved mortar mixture, all part of the product approval. The roof is finished and inspected for conformance to the product approvals. With the outer shell complete and dried in, it's onto the interior to finish construction. See more construction videos and photos of the roofing and the entire project at engineeringplans.com forward slash build. Search for Florida and Miami-Dade product approvals and thousands of engineering plans at engineeringplans.com. Find links to the product approvals and building code sections in the video description.